My name is Mohammed Said, and this is my story for colorful heritage. I was born in Pakistan on 18th of August 1947. My parents originally, my grandfather was uh, from Kashmir side in uh, then I was India. They mig migrated when the uprising started. Uh, my father was uh, sort of the lumberdar of our village. When I grew up in our village, which was uh, Ara uh, near uh, Kariya, uh, which I remember we had a big free story house at that time in 1947. My father was in the army, so I didn't get to know him so much. Uh, at the age of about uh, six or seven, we moved from our village to Bahawalpur, uh, where my uncle, my father had set up a shop there in Bahawalpur, and then he migrated from Bahawalpur to UK handed over the shop to my uncle and with the view to support us and he'll send whatever he can for while in the UK. So I started my primary school in the village, moved from the village at the age of about six or seven to Bahawalpur, uh, stayed there for three or four years, just about started my high school in Bahawalpur. I remember when Ayub Khan uh, took over the martial law, that's what I remember of uh, the exact date. That's my father uh, moved us from uh, Bahawalpur to the UK. So we came over in about September, December 1958 to UK. My father was in the army. Uh, he was a quartermaster in the British Army. So once they got disbanded or once the war was over, uh, he was a prisoner of war and then he got released. From there, I don't know what his motives were to coming to the UK, but obviously maybe a better opportunity for him and the family. So he came over, I don't know the exact date, but I know we came over in 1958. He was here a lot before uh, than, and, than us. My father had this shop in Bahawalpur, which was the middle of sort of uh, Shai Bazaar, which was the main bazaar in Bahawalpur. So the shop was obviously doing very well. So when my father uh, decided to bring us over of course we were excited you know at that time everybody saying you're going to volat you know that so we came over uh, by by aeroplane it was a british overseas air corporation at that time my uncle took us to karachi and he set us off from karachi to presswick glasgow airport all i remember that uh, we came boic stopping at rome maybe stopping at London, coming to Presswick at night time. My father had uh, one of his friends with the van, so he brought us from the airport, Presswick to Glasgow. I remember the journey was very cold and dark, and you know, you're coming from Bahawalpur, nice and warm into this uh, freezing weather. So that's what I remember about the journey. Sometime now, when I see the weather with the lights and the fog, you know, they bring back those memories where that was the weather like at that time. In, in, in those times. I was about 11 years old when I came over. My father, I, what I rec recall that he was always a, sort of a go-getter. He would always take risks, etc. So he would uh, not, uh, first uh, what I was told that he used to work in the trams. At that time there was trams in Glasgow and he used to work night shift there. And then he took up at later stage door business, you know, people going around with suitcases, etc. He done that for a little while. When we came over, I remember uh, at uh, uh, him going with him, he used to have a van and he used to collect uh, 
rags at that time, you know, people went around collecting rags, etc. So I mind going with them, filling the van up with toys, etc. Give to go around these little villages, Motherwell, Belsall, all these outlying villages. You would go, you would blow your trumpet, and people would come round, and you would give them trinkles, and they would give you rules, you know, jumpers, etc. And that, and they would, he would sell them, recycle them, and make money that way. So he was always traveling about, going to Pakistan several times, bringing mostly our family, other relatives from Pakistan to settle them in various places. We have lots of family in Paris and Holland, lots of relatives which he brought over from Pakistan just to set them up over here. We used to stay in Monteith Road, which is just facing the Glasgow Green Pe People Palace. So that was the main uh, sort of uh, outlet for the people. The weather was good. Everybody would bring out their prams and their children, and they would gather in Glasgow Green for chit-chat, etc. And being children, we used to play a lot outside because you just need to cross the road into Glasgow Green and you'd play football, etc. London Road, where we used to stay, just faced the uh, Monteith Road was facing the Glasgow Green, London Road is on the other side of it, and our house was just next uh, uh, next to the bar, it's only about five minutes walk from there, so that weekend you had lots of people coming to Barland and you had lots of community there, plus the fact there was quite a few families living in Monteith Row, so we had a good social circle, you know, people meeting each other at that time. It was a good uh, family atmosphere and friend, friendship and etc. because everybody was new coming to to UK. So obviously if you're from Pakistan, they want to know. It was very difficult uh, for my mother, as, as I said, because my father was always traveling around. So we missed out on the father's side of guidance, etc. Though he provided for us, done everything for the family, you know, set them up. But what I missed out, what the brothers missed out, because you didn't have the constant presence of your father there. He was always traveling. But on the good side, the mother, we had other people round about us. We had I mean, teeth row. My father owned by three or four houses, so he used to rent them out, etc. And we had lodgers, lodgers, you know, so had income there. But mother had uh, my. Then he brought my puppy over, his sister over, and they used to live next to us as well. So his children uh, and my brothers, all about the same age. We used to get on better. We had two or three good friends. Which we used to walk from there to uh, Adelphi Terrace, which is in other side of the Gallagate. Maybe. 15, 20 minutes walk from our house. We started the primary school there. I was there for a year, maybe. I was kept, we would all get kept back because of the language, though we might be all right in mass and other things, but obviously language was a barrier. So I was kept back, and due to that kept back, I missed out on the education, while my younger brothers, they were younger, they took the full benefit of the education and they went into the universities, etc. And, and the rest of it. At that time there weren't many Asian, I think we were the only f uh, four brothers in that school. Uh, so it was strange from them as a strange for us as well to see, uh, you know, moving into a different culture. Uh, Prejudice wise, I don't think we felt anything at that time. It was strange for us moving and, and were curious for the other the children there to see somebody of different race and they were curious as, as we were. So we didn't, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, see any discrimination or whether they, may, they might be some, but we didn't felt or we didn't know about it because at that time, you're young children, you just mix together uh, as long as you were good and uh, with the football etc they accepted you and you just do done what the other children done you know so we we went on very well at school mm -hmm.